So I have a semi-articulated right femur bone with a right tibia and fibula, and here they are disarticulated. And a good way to remember that the fibula is the smaller of the two is just think of somebody telling a little fib. And you're gonna have to know these bones disarticulated and whether they are the right or the left bone. A good way to just know if this bone is the right or the left one is if you look closely right here, there's a rough region of the tibia that's not located on the posterior aspect. In fact, it actually smoothly dips inward. But the anterior aspect of this bone is rough. And that's gonna be called the tibial tuberosity. So first find that and then come down here. And if there's a malleolus pointing most medial, because this is in fact called the medial malleolus, you can figure out that this is, in fact, your right tibia. And to kind of zoom in on some structures, since we're looking anteriorly, and this is the most medial aspect of the bone, this is called the medial condyle, and this is called the lateral condyle. And a cool thing about that is that it actually articulates with the corresponding medial condyle of the femur bone. If you remember, so here's the, me here's the femur, and this is the medial portion of the bone. And we flip it over, flip it over. This is the medial condyle and the lateral condyle. But when it's articulated, the medial condyle articulates with the medial condyle of the tibia, as well as the lateral condyle articulating with the lateral condyle of the tibia. The fibula does not get articulated with the femur just this big guy right here. And, oh, the last structure of the tibia that you need to know is, here we go. These two horns right here are the intercondylar eminence. And they sit within your intercondylar fossa of the femur bone. So the intercondylar eminence structure right here sits within the intercondylar fossa of the femur. Alrighty. And that's all you need to know from the tibia. So from the fibula, locate the flatter portion. This is the head and it's kind of a thick region. And this is the shaft. This is also the shaft obviously. Every bone has the same label right there. And then down here where it kind of narrows and points a little bit, this is going to be called the lateral malleolus, which is just easy to remember because if you can remember that the fibula is the most lateral bone, then you can know that this is in fact the lateral malleolus.